All right, viewers. You, uh, wait, actually, on second thought, before that, I'm just boom. You know what? I decided. I decided I wanted to use two health drinks because I want James at green status. That means he's full on health. Uh, interesting part today. Hello. So I I'm gave. Still here. Yeah, she's still <laughs> here. I gave her my notebook, which has all my notes, and uh, she she has an idea of what I'm gonna be doing. But I ran it through with her on the plan today. And so I figure we'll just do that. What we have to do is we have to use the elevator. Um, as soon as I can figure out where the elevator is. Uh, I think I overshot it. I think it's on the... Yeah, it's right here. Uh, at the same time, she can read my notes. And so it's kind of like, I'm, I'm curious. Because, you see, the thing is, I have very shoddy handmanship. Penmanship. Pen hand penmanship. Whatever. Same thing in my opinion. But it's probably... I went to floor three. I was supposed to go to floor two. I already fucked this all up. I'm looking at your notes at the ending. Oh. I like to cry. <laughs> no, no, oh, that. Um, it's not. I like to cry. It's no, the no, ending. No, but the, you said no. Watch the ending and cry. Yep. Yeah, I drew a sad smile. Or I drew a sad face, crying, because there's there's a lot to be desired. Anyways, we got we got spooky things. We got nurses. Um, I'm still gonna do Beat Simulator. Oh man, there's like this weird effect. Anyways, I'm gonna do Beat Simulator because, quite frankly, we need to traverse this, and clearing the way would be happy. It'd be happy for me. Does it look like the, the nurses are now wearing hoodies? Is it me, or do they look a lot more brutal? Like, they do. uh, they need like. They to act more brutal, too. Yeah, I, I think there's like two versions of every enemy. I think there's like a bloodier version. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Fortunately, they walk slow as hell, and my pipe has pretty decent range. Where's it? Come up. Uh, oh my God, that was the first game. Yeah, you know what this game has? What? Uh oh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. You know I can just figure it. Yeah, but at the same time, like you, you probably won't. You know what? It's fine. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, um, fucking nurses, man. So we were talking about like the enemy placement. I, I got, like, I, I think I can understand why they're trying to attack James because they probably see him as some sort of horrific entity, much like everyone else sees everything as a horrific entity. Uh, the question is, like, why do they move so spastically, whereas James, like, is is a lot more Something rational? Something else that's actually worth consideration if they are supposed to be people, regular people. Supposedly. Uh, and. Uh, I, I think I, I don't hear they, any spooky sounds. They've just sounds. been there for a while, and that's why they're like that. Yeah. Why don't they attack each other? You know, maybe they see each other as normal things. Maybe, maybe they're like, "Hey, Jill, how you doing?" Oh, hey, Jacob. So may, maybe it's um, based on like the people who enter at roughly the same time. Mm -hmm. I was locked up inside a. Basement's basement. This is no telling dark, us... And I was so afraid. I dropped my precious spring, but I will never ever go back there. That's our objective, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, important so, thing and other thing. Um, so it's possible that people who come in at roughly the same time are the only ones that can see each other? Yeah, maybe if you have the same uh, dosage or effect of the drugs, like, you can see each other relatively normal, but everyone else, it's like, nope, he's a monster! But then again, like, the only person who really signifies this, like, in-game is Vincent from Silent Hill 3. Everyone else is just kind of doesn't really comment on it. They're just like, what the fuck is this place? Also, everyone is kind of back. I could use shotgun. I don't want him. Not yet. Also, I think I killed it. Yeah, I killed it. I, I gotta be careful, because it's gonna swing as soon as I get close. Like so. But, the fortunate thing is, as soon as they swing and they hit me, they leave themselves open where I can just basically hold the X button and I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. It's kind of like, you know, you take some damage, but then you kill the monster and it's no longer an issue. Uh, oh my god, enough with the nurses. Yeah. Oh, I got it, I got it. I think it's also pretty suggestive given that the... The enemies change. Uh, supposedly. I mean, so here's the thing: these nurses, they kind, of, they kind of are reoccurring. Like, That's true. The, the only difference, 
the only difference is, I think, the first Silent Hill where, like, you actually have doctors and nurses and they're relatively the same. Like, they look like doctors and nurses. There's no sexy bobblehead, uh, whatever the fuck that is. Well, they were bobblehead nurses, but they did. They had standard nurse attire. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you're tired of nurses? Guess what? We got more. Yeah, I figured. We're in a hospital. We're just gonna... It's Silent Hill. We're just gonna see what No, I mean... I mean... Holy shit! Oh, fuck! Okay, uh, let me tell you something. Health drink, health drink. Actually, you know what? Um, I was thinking... I I'm pretty sure there was two things in there. I got them. It was, it was in my room. Don't really... I don't have to deal with it. Okay. Uh, something else we can go? We can do the day room right now. I was telling you this, but there's a puzzle and uh, we don't have the solution to it. So the day room at the moment, not important. Uh, also, I feel the heartbeat vibration that'll happen when your health is... Oh, okay. Which is kind of nice because the game actually signifies when you're getting low on yeah. health. And it it does amp up the more the more you're getting closer to dying. It was it was subtle, but like it'll... it'll get... But it's a good tip-off. Yeah. You can, you can tell when James is starting to have a panic attack. So now we gotta go to floor three, and now we can resume, except I got more bullshit nurses. No one likes the nurses. Well, no one likes the nurses. except well, James. James probably likes the nurses. There are probably some people who love the nurses. Well, as <laughs> character, like, sure. As cosplay, I mean, sure, everyone can probably get behind the nurses. Uh, I can't. They're horrific. I mean, they're... There's a lot of things to be desired in terms of attractiveness, but this, no. This this does not light my fire. This just makes me... This just makes me want to do what James is doing. Except if you're cosplaying. I mean, that that's probably a felony either way you look at it. I, I have to, I have to, I have to make that clear, you know. If you're cosplaying, um, don't worry. I'm, I'm not going to do what James is doing. Video game-wise, I mean... Purely, purely, if I'm playing Silent Hill. I would actually like to see if someone could adequately pull off a, a nurse like this that's grotesque. Well, you're the fact checker. You can Google search that. Because most of the time I see, like, the nurses that we saw before we went to the other world. Oh, yeah, yeah, where, where they're, they're hunched over. Clean. and the, Actually, uh, from what I understand, there's a parasite in the first Silent Hill. Like, there's some sort of Silent Hill parasite. Oh, that's and that's the reason for it. And, uh... Cheryl, Cheryl mm -hmm. gets infected, and oh, so, that's right. Yeah, and so that. like in order to get like the good ending, you have to you have to cleanse her, because you can kill her essentially. Uh, she gets infected, and you can kill her, but there's a way to actually oh, save her. Someone has done some pretty good other world nurse. Oh yeah, look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Um, still not a turn on for me. Oh, also we got the ampoule. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but... I have, I have no... That sounded very French. It, 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 it does sound very French. Uh, she is an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. Which is a puzzle, by the way. This is all foreshadowing to a puzzle that I think we're very close to. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crime. This, so this, if this is actually taking a lot. Like, bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them... Sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. This is really interesting because this takes a lot of mythological death. Yeah. By the way, that puzzle I was talking about. Right. It's locked. Oh, we get to see the detail. Look at that. She is an angel. There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. Um, do, do you want me to spoil it? Does anyone care? No one cares. Okay. Uh, we need we need two rings. That that is oh, why. Oh, gotcha. We need two rings. But I think it's interesting that she's a, a bridge of thread, which to me signifies um, the fates from Greek mythology. The the thread yeah. that they would measure each person's life. This room is completely optional. There's nothing here, but this is kind of like backstory plot to Maria as a character. Is this what Maria was taking? Yeah. Do, do we actually get? Like an idea of what the, is Maria sick now too. So there's similar medications to what his wife was taking. Well, it looks very similar. I'm pretty sure James doesn't care about the details. He's just like she's taking Maria. She, or she's taking she's taking she's taking medicine. She's sick too. Oh, this is bullshit. Every woman in my life gets sick. Oh, except I mean, it, then you have Angela, and so it's like I guess I have to retract that statement. But doesn't that shouldn't that tell James that he's a cancer? 
I mean, you, you would think, but Chance is pretty dense. I That's mean, he, I mean, I like to again. He's pretty I selfish too. Yeah, he's pretty selfish. I like to, I, I like to say, you know, it's not the fact that he's dense. It's the, it's the fact that he's really disconnected with everything going around. I mean, if you want my honest opinion, Eddie is like the only person who actually w seems normal in the whole entire thing. Where you get introduced and he's vomiting in the toilet, which yes, I admit it's gross, but. I feel like that's probably the most normal reaction to, like, seeing all this, if, like, you were put in this situation. Uh, James and Angela, I mean, like, there's something off-putting right from the beginning, if you ask well, me. Well, I think Angela, it's pretty clear that Angela's suicidal. It, well, I'm, uh, you, you, you'd see that in the second cutscene. In the first cutscene, like, she's at the graveyard and she's, like, saying she's looking for her mama. Yeah, but you don't even really get the feeling that you're in Silent Hill yet. In the graveyard scene. Yeah, but I'm I'm just saying like uh you know she she mentions that there's something off about Silent Hill. So I, I get the feeling she's already been there. Uh I'm just saying Eddie like you Eddie's like the full like pretty normal in terms of just like he has like the most normal reaction in my opinion when you first encounter him out of everyone else. I kind of get the feeling that Angela to a certain extent is a fatalist. Fatalist. You might have to uh, okay, no problem. elaborate. I have, uh, so, fatalism is a philosophical doctrine stressing the subjugation of all events or actions to fate. Fatalism generally refers to any of the following ideas. The view that people are powerless to anything other than what they actually do. I mean, to a certain extent, I feel like Angela is just... She was kind of brought there. She doesn't really... She, she's kind of put herself over to fate a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're gonna go in that direction, I would say, doesn't that also kind of mean James, too, is a fatalist? Simply because, like, he realizes that even though his wife is dead, he got a letter, and so he kind of feels that it's his fate to find his wife, even though, logically, it wouldn't make any sense. I don't know. James seems to be more focused on his his decisions. Which decision, being able to make a decision is the opposite of fate. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, again, I say he seems pretty disconnected with everything. He's just like, I have to find my wife. I know she's here. By I the way, all these... That's his, his annoying self-interest. Yeah. By the way, all the doors are locked except... Oh, scary sounds. It sounds like a pig squealing. That does sound... It, to me, it sounds like you're stepping on a rat. It sound well. It sounds like a fetal, or not a fetal pig. It oh, sounds, no, sounds like a piglet a squealing. Uh, that's what it sounds like to me, but it doesn't mean anything. It's just spooky sound. Are you scared, viewers? I'm scared. Anyways, so we got we got a puzzle here. You know, there's a shelf, red handprints. Okay, puzzle solved. Yeah, that's. This is pretty that's logical, that's really, when you get down that's to that's it. That's not a puzzle. It's a puzzle. It's I mean, a prompt. But it's a puzzle. It's a prompt. A quote unquote puzzle. It's a prompt. I solved it. I knew there was something here. That's why. That's why I was dicking around. James. Mary. Mary. Maria. Is it just me? Is everything kind of suddenly gone blurry? Oh yeah. Well, this is the full motion video. This is back in the day. Oh, that's right. This was this was when like this was cutting edge technology. I mean, it looked beautiful back then. Now it's just like, Jesus Christ. Also, she, oh my god, she just gained like 10 points of like, uh, negative character interest, in my opinion. Yeah. I, that was a very awkward way of saying that, but she is, did you see those eyes? They just widened. I know. Yeah. Could you? You couldn't care less about me, could you? See, she's very manipulative. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest, I feel like this whole thing is symbolic, but I can't quite figure out what it's trying to symbolize. You know, it's like, it's supposed to be one of those things where it's like, like you know, I feel like she's trying to spark something in James, but James is kind of still disconnected and confused, so he's trying to compute how to how to go about this. I think, I think to a certain extent she's reflecting the way James felt about Mary when Mary was sick. Oh, that's a good point. I've never met her before. Also, this is very reflective of Mary. We'll figure that out later, but the, yeah. this... The fact that she actually cares about Laura on, on a very But this goes, this, this goes again to her being... A, I think foil is perhaps the wrong word considering that she ends up mirroring... Mirror yeah. Well, I mean, she... In a lot of ways, yeah. rather than being her opposite. Also, we had to go down here. There's a reason for it. 
But then again, she really is kind of an inversion of what Mary is. She she's a, she is, but she isn't. I mean, like I I guess it's like for the most part she she's the opposite. But on the other hand, like I I think there's that little bit of like she she's like this weird mirrored version of Mary just because yeah. like. She has to have something, like, pulling James, like, to she, she, have that connection, you know? Yeah, she's both a foil and not a foil, because to... Maria is very much set up to look... For, uh, for, I, forgive the forgive the biblical language, but, like, a sinner. Yeah. Uh, where oh. Mary is set up to look very saintly, mm-hmm. like we talked about before, yeah. like Mother Mary. Uh, I'm gonna end it off, like, at the third floor, I think it was the... No, it's not, we're on the second floor. Uh, anyways, I think I'm gonna end off the video, but before I do, I just wanted to say, um... Could I propose the term mirrored foil, where it's, like, both a mirror and foiled at the same time, like, some sort of corrupted image? I feel like there's a word for that. Yeah. I'm All right. Look that up. Like yeah. Were... Anyways, we're, I think we're gonna end it off here. But next time we start the video, we will have something. I think, or we'll apologize. <laughs>